prodigal the prodigal son intended in his Akapanga heart kabisa. he Akasema, planned it intended so I'll go to my father and I'll tell my father I've sinned above the earth and also before you and the Bible says I'm not worth to be called your son again make me one of your servants this is what he planned he left and he went to his father when he was still Baba far off alimona, the father saw him uruma, and he had compassion and he ran to him shingoni, and he fell on his neck and he kissed him Yule mwana, that son baba, told the father sasa, see now kama just mwyo. as he planned in his Bicho, heart this is what he says kule, anasema, remember he said outside na and now he says ya I have seen the it is possible for him to postpone after I am his child but he I have sinned again above the earth and before you I am not worth to be called your son if people won't overcome inner condemnation they will fail to come back to the position God established them if you don't overcome inner condemnation and this is the weapon the enemy uses to stop people who want to make correction with God with all your repentance but still he accuses you Listen. One of the areas you have to know that Satan is accusing you. Regardless of whether accusing you is true or wrong, he can continue to accuse you even after God has released you. He still stands saying, Are you are the one to steal? Are you the one to preach? Are you the one to pray? We say, but I repented. And I've gone to my pastor. I've gone to my pastor and confessed my sin. That pastor I failed. And I was led to the prayer of repentance. And he, but when you are alone, Satan asks you, are you? Because, because his accusation does not regard whether But you have to know also the accusation. He accuses the Bible say our accuser accuses the on heaven and earth. So where are we on earth? The inner condemnation is very important before you repent. Lakini I find after you repent. First, this son did not change his prayer point. He was to speak exactly what made it fall down. So it's very important also for you in repentance. Don't change. You want to plan to repent before God. You see how difficult. <laughs> you know how difficult it is to say, in the name of Jesus, I'm a servant, I'm a fornicator. Yeah. But if you intend to say though, it's something hard. So don't change it. So God wants you to confess by your mouth that you have That's wrong. Number one. Don't change your confessions. Another thing we see with this uh, prodigal son, he chose, he chose himself a position after. Yeah, he says, I Anisametu. let him forgive me. Lakini si tena. But I'm not Anifanye a son again. Kijakazi. Let him make me the servant. Si baada ya toba yake, In other words, after his repentance, muambia, the condemnation taught him, una tena. you have no chance again. Baada ya toba, so after repentance, don't choose where to be. 
kwa kweli natubu mimi sijui kama naweza uchungaji tena truly i repent but i don't think i can continue as a pastor again uchungaji na uona kama ni mzigo ah being a pastor is like a burden to me natubu kwa mungu I repent to God. But I don't think I can manage this ministry again. No, 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 no. Apana. Acha aliye kuweka ofisini akutoe ofisini. Ah, let the one who established you take you out. I am telling you. Nakwambia. Unajua hii injili ni ngumu kidogo kuingia katika sehemu ya kaza mwisho. Na nafobiri namna hii I don't think that them to go to and fall eh. You know this I gospel. You know that. Ili somo ni maalum kwa matured people. This very topic. important for matured people. Ni muhimu kwa watu ambao wamekoma usijichagulie nafasi don't create for yourself a position after you have fallen back. kitu tunachokiona kwa baba what you see from the father hakuongea neno lolote na mwana the father never spoke any word to the son si we read hakumwambia nimekusamea au sijakusamea tunaona well, baba akifanya matendo we see father Bivyo taking kwa action mungu. the same is it to go hana 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 hana, hana msamao wa manunguniko <laughs> yes got no for my god in a great misri kama kuna watu wamenelewa hakujibu chochote mwana anawaambia tu mvueni nguo badala aongee na mwana aliyeongea yote anaongea na watenda kazi instead of talking the sign we spoke this all is to prove how Jesus the servants is how ndio kuthibitisha namna gani Yesu yupo tuliona kwenye maandiko baada ya mtoto kujieleza maneno yote after the prodigal son expressed himself baba akaanza kumsemesha yeye kwa we don't see the father talking back to him anawaambia waliomzunguka is telling those people around lakini baba yake baada ya msari wa 21 baba yake alimwambia watumwa wake the father told the servants upesi, bring, bring me a new robe mkamvike and tieni na pete kiudoni mimi nilifikiria naanza kumwambia mwanangu nimekusikia ulichosema i thought he not say ya msamao wa mungu msamao wa mungu sio maneno msamao wa mungu ni wa vitendo the forgiveness of god is not of words it is of action hivi ni kuuliza swali ask me ask baba alitakiwa aongee na watumwa kabla ya kuongea na mwana kwa hiyo mbinguni unapotu so when you repent in heaven before god answers you he gives an order kama kuna guardian angel alishakuacha hari hapo anarudi anaambia umemmsikia ameshatubu go ronda dibu alikuwa mbaya nenda anaposema anawaambia watumwa wake manake ni cabinet nzima ya mbingu inasikia Inasema umemmsikia eh tumemmsikia alivyo tu boy haya haraka mvueni vazi alilovalishwa wekeni pete kidoleni so mbingu system ya mbinguni haraka inamfuata mtu ndo tafsiri ya msamaa wa Mungu si wa maneno it is a action kind of forgiveness wanadamu wanaweza kukuambia nakusamea lakini ulichofanya sijui kama sijui kama kinaeleweka hiki ulichokitenda hasikielewi lakini Mungu anasema sikiliza mwanangu mimi siongee na wewe kwanza. Kuna vitu tuviweke sawa kwanza. Kuna vazi ulilipoteza tunakuvika. Sio hivyo tu. Kuna vitu vilisha kuacha na virudisha. Na ndio maana usicheze na mwanadamu. Mwanadamu aliumbwa na Mungu akamtafuta Mungu akarudi, akainama kwenye toba. Mungu akaisikia toba yake. My God, huyo mtu baadaye hmm, Hawezi kuwa mtu wa kawaida. Watu wengi hawajui maana ya toba na ndio maana watu wengi hawajui kukaa kwenye magoti ya toba. Moja kati ya kitu Mungu amenifundisha kwa umsisitizo ni kukaa magotini kwa toba. To dwell in repentance. Nilikwambia toba inafungua vifungo. Toba ina vita baraka. Anasema uitendee mema sayuni na uzijenge kuta za Yerusalemu maana yake katikati ya toba kuna kutendewa mema na katikati ya toba kuna kujengewa kuta zako you can imagine how powerful it is